In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this artwork. I think it looks pretty good. And if you're making high end art prints, this can be the way to go. This is super easy art technique with planets, backgrounds. This whole thing took me about two minutes. So I'll do a quick walkthrough on how easy it is to make a spectacular looking piece of nature scape using whatever photo editing software you're using. Let's jump in. Okay, so this isn't really a technical walkthrough. I happen to be using Photoshop and it's an old version of Photoshop, but if you're using Adobe Photo or any sort of photo editing software, this is a, the whole point of this is it's super easy to do. So what I'm gonna do first is just grab an image off of uh, like raw pixel or Pixabay or Pexel. So I'm just gonna grab a nature image. Okay, so this is just a standard image from raw pixel, okay? And now what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna make it fit into the actual palette there. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And now here's the easy art technique. So what you're gonna do is just remove the sky, okay? So whatever picture you've selected, you're just gonna remove the sky using a background eraser tool. And depending on your settings, you may have to go in there and fine, fine tune it a tiny bit just like this. So now I've got my background. One little trick that I use when I'm in something like Photoshop is I'll make the background, just for my own reference, something like a bright pink. And it's just so I can make sure that I've got all of the background removed. You can see here, I've got a couple little speckles left over. So I'm just gonna click on the image and just remove those. So now I've got kind of a true background removed. And again, you'd spend some time on this you know, it's not difficult, but it is sometimes time consuming. So now I've got just my background. Now I don't need that pink. I was just using that so I could see easily. Next up, I'm going to grab a super starry background. So again, I just grabbed this from raw pixel. So I've just got a stars background and I'm just gonna move this underneath the layer. So now I've got a background that's much, much more dramatic than the original picture. It was just like regular sky, but here now I've got this. Now what I'm going to do is just rasterize the layer and I'm going to go up to image adjustments and I'm going to go into hue and saturation and I'm just going to increase the saturation a little bit. That just makes this a little bit more pronounced in the night sky. And you can do this as well with the regular image. So it's a really easy trick is you just go into adjustments and then hue and saturation. And again, if you're using Affinity Photo or whatever photo software, it might be a little bit different, but you can see how it really, I mean, if I go too much with the saturation, it looks a bit washed out. If I go underneath it, black and white, this is almost too colorful. But if you're looking to make something unique, you may want to up the saturation a tiny bit there. I've got it quite a lot bigger. So now I've got this night sky and I've got this front piece. I'm actually going to remove the mountain here too. So I'm just going to go into magic eraser and I'll just remove the mountain here as well. So now I've got my front is my water my background is my trees, and then I've got this night sky. So the last thing I wanna do now is import a picture of a planet. So I'm gonna to go to File and Place, I'm gonna pick my planet. There we go, so now I've got my planet. Now the planets typically, if you grab a, like this is off of raw pixel as well, these are all public domain photos, by the way. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna remove the background. So I'm just going to make magic eraser tool, and I'm gonna remove the background. You can see here on the right, because it was black in the planet, it's removed. So I'm going to add a black circle. So I'm just gonna add in, make my color black. And I'm trying to kind of do this in real time to show you like this is not super complicated what I'm doing. And although it's not really a technical walkthrough, you can certainly see that in real time, you know, you can bang out some pretty good images here pretty quickly. So now I've just created a black circle that's the same size as my planet. And then I'm just gonna merge these two layers together and that way I've got the planet with the black background removed, but I've got my planet now sitting here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just move this underneath the sky, or sorry, underneath the front, so now it's sitting in the background. So now I can make this like really big, like maybe it's a planet that's like doing like Earthrise or something like that. It doesn't really matter what planet you pick, you just that's the whole point of being an artist. Okay, so now I've got the planet sitting in the background. I can make that as big as or as small as I want. And for the most part, you could say you're done. There's one more advanced piece that you can do. So what I'm gonna do here is do a reflection of the planet in the water. So I'm gonna duplicate the layer. 
So I'm going to have now a planet sitting above. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to rotate it because it's, it's a uh, reflection. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this now to soft light. So now you can see down below, it's like a reflection. Okay. Now I could leave it like that. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess, but I'm going to just pick apart now the actual top layer by just removing the reflection on the wood. And again, if I was, you know, making this a professional print, I would take much more time, but you can see now I've removed that. So now I've got basically this, this planet now doubled up. Now the top planet, this is the top planet here. I'm going to remove the top piece of it because I don't want it sitting on top of the other planet. So I'm just going to highlight it, go right down to the water line and I'm going to click remove. And now I've got my planet sitting here and my reflection underneath. I can also change. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So this is the bottom piece. This is just the reflection piece and that's just the top piece. So it's all just layers. Basically what I started off with was the front piece, which is the ocean or the lake, I guess. And then we've got the planet that stick, you know, stuck in front of the stars and we're good. So this last piece here, you can also monkey with the opacity on these levels as well. You can make it a little bit less. So you can really tweak this stuff. You can make it just like a very minor reflection. And there we go. So again, just a quick walkthrough on how easy it is to make a piece of artwork like this. It doesn't really take a lot of time and you can see these a lot of times on Etsy or Displate. You could also make this a nice t-shirt design. And what you could do if you wanted to make this a t-shirt design is just simply remove the background on the planet and then whatever your color of your t-shirt is, that would be the color of the background. So you have red t-shirt, you'd have a red sky. If it was an orange t-shirt, you'd have an orange sky. But if you're making fine art prints, of course, you'd want to throw in a starry sky. Very easy. Hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And here's another art technique that I think is really neat that will help you make some cool looking artwork. Thanks for watching.